everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install the Mustard Virus Zombie Apocalypse mod for Minecraft. We're going to be going over every single step of downloading and installing Mustard Virus using CurseForge, which is like the easiest and most recommended way to install it in this video. First of all, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually haven't just Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on Apex, and guess what? You can install Mustard Virus on your server and play it with your friends in just one click at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Nonetheless, you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running with Mustard Virus or any mod pack or vanilla Minecraft or anything you want on your server. Nonetheless, though, you're not here to get an Apex server. You are here to get Mustard Virus. So let's do that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing mod packs with the Curse Forge launcher. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Curse Forge button on this page. That's then going to open up Curse Forge here. And on this website, I'm going to click on the Download for Windows button. That will, of course, start Curse Forge downloading in the bottom left on Google Chrome. You probably won't need to save it on Chrome, but you might need to on Firefox. So save that in the center of your screen. It's 100% safe to do so. Now, though, we need to find the folder, and it's not anywhere here. Where it is is in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top bottom left. Type in Downloads, right like so. You'll have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here, you'll find Curse Forge. Drag this this to your desktop for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get CurseForge installed. The good news is this installs just like any other program out there. Just double click on the CurseForge installer here and once it opens up we just need to basically go ahead and click next. We need to then go ahead and agree to the ULA right down here. We need to agree to this. You also want to select whether or not you want CurseForge to have a desktop icon. I personally do so I'm going to check that. And once you have read and accepted the Overwolf terms and privacy policy you can check that little box right there and click next. Now here it's basically asking if you want to record something or install something that's going to record your gaming, don't do that uh, unless you want to, but I'm not want to, and it's not checked automatically, which good ups to CurseForge. Don't check it automatically if you see this video. Let's go ahead and click the next button there. Now it's going to download CurseForge and basically get everything installed for us. And Overwolf, by the way, if you notice that, Overwolf is required in order to install CurseForge. Overwolf is the parent company of CurseForge, and overall, they're a pretty cool company from what I've seen. So yeah, but Overwolf is required for CurseForge. As you can see here, though, we are downloading Curse Forge, just basically waiting. I'm going to do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you once it's finished. Once Curse Forge has finished installing, it will open up this. As you can see, successfully installed, and it will open up a thing in your browser saying, congratulations, basically, you have installed Curse Forge. Now, let's go ahead and click the launch button here on the installer, and it will launch Curse Forge up for the very first time. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, launching this, that... It's going to give you a tutorial here at the beginning that I'm just going to kind of skip through. I would recommend pausing the video and actually kind of going through this tutorial. So go ahead and like pause this video, like wait for it. Three, two, one. Right now, pause this video and go through this quick tutorial. I'm just going to skip it, but go through that. It'll kind of give you an ups on what Curse Forge is. Sorry about the hard cut there. I accidentally had Minecraft installed from a previous Curse Forge installation. Here we are though. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft once you're in Curse Forge, right like so. And then we want to go ahead and make sure standard is selected, then click continue. So you're going to get Minecraft basically ready to be able to install mod packs, which it has now done. And up here at the top, we want to search for mustard virus, right like so. Now, why is this called mustard virus? Because the creator is Mustard Sean. Makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? However, Mustard Virus by Forge Labs, this is it, Zombie Apocalypse mod. And what we want to do is click on this orange installation button here over on the right-hand side. When we click on that, it's going to go ahead, start downloading, installing, and getting these mods ready. Now, there's not a ton of mods, and it will install faster than a lot of other mod packs, but just give it some time, and it will still take a minute. So let's go ahead, let this install, and I will see you after a very quick jump cut once Mustard Virus is officially installed and we can open it. So as you can see, Mustard Virus is now installed because there's no installation button here and there's now a orange play button. You can click that or you can go ahead and click on my, the Minecraft logo on the left hand side here. And this is normally how you launch these mod packs. Once you're here, hover over Mustard Virus and click the green play button. Now the Minecraft launcher is going to open up right like so, right? It's just going to open up the normal Minecraft launcher. Now, one thing that you will get is kind of basically error saying that this is the old Minecraft launcher and not the Microsoft Store one. That's okay. I'll show you that here in a second. First thing you need to log in, either with your Microsoft account or your Mojang account. I'm going to log in with Microsoft account. I'll see you after a quick jump cut. Once you've logged in, this is what it will look like. You will get this error, this warning. Don't worry about it. Just ignore it. Click I understand and pretend it never happened. Sadly, it will happen though. Every time you open it up, just click I understand every time. It's, it's fine. Now, once you're here though, you should have Mustard Virus automatically selected in the bottom left. If you don't though, 
It's because you need to close out of the Minecraft launcher, hover over the Mustard Virus mod pack there and click play again. And when you do open it back up, Mustard Virus will be there in the bottom left, ready for you to play, enjoy, and have a ton of fun with. Like I said, every time you open the launcher, you gotta click I understand. However, at this point, Mustard Virus is selected here and we can click the green play button. Then click yeah, I understand the risk of playing mod in Minecraft and then click the green play button again. And finally, the Mustard Virus mod pack will open up and you'll be ready to start playing. Now. I'm gonna do a quick jump cut. This is just downloading. I will pick back up once Mustard Virus is opening up. So here we are, as you can see, the Zombie Apocalypse Mustard Virus mod pack is opening up. And uh, yeah, it's gonna open up just like any other mod pack. You might get some lag, you might get some issues, you might get some freezes in this. And if you do, that's perfectly okay. Just kind of let it sit there. Eventually it should work itself out. In rare cases, it may crash. If it does crash, it's probably because you don't have enough net RAM dedicated to it. And it's just like dedicating RAM to any other version of Minecraft. So here we are in game we can go ahead create a new single player world i'll just call it new world and join in into creative at this point we're just kind of showing you a proof of concept that this is in fact the mustard virus mod and it's not just some random installation i could have clicked on the mods tab as well from the main menu didn't think about that but in game will i think be enough proof here so as we load in we'll be able to see mr crayfish's mod is installed because right there it is and we can go ahead and hit e we are in creative so if we click over we can see some of the awesome mods now this isn't every mod by any means but it is some of them and it's pretty cool. It's also awesome that McCall's furniture and Mr. Crayfish's furniture is in here. I mean, that's, that's a lot of furniture if you want it. Security Craft's also really cool, by the way. Just, just keep that in mind. But we've also got things like Spartan Weaponry and Bombs of Plenty and Switch Bow and Snow Variants and Nifty Blocks and so much more. Like I said, this isn't everything. You can see kind of everything over here on the, uh, the right-hand side. As you click through, you'll be able to see all the different modded blocks and everything that are added. It, it's kind of crazy. You can also click on these if you want to figure out how to craft them. But that is that. And uh, if we fly around here, we actually got a really good spawn. And if anyone wanted to copy this seed, there it is. Because you're spawning on islands in a zombie apocalypse mod, which seems like one cheating, two a very good place to spawn. But we should be able to see some zombies spawning in the daytime as well. We just have to we just have to find some 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 good land here. So my sensitivity is through the room. A mushroom biome as well. Okay, use this seed. Use this seed. This is a good seed. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend this seed, actually. Um, let's see, let's see. Any Anything worth the, any zombies? Come on now, don't don't make me a liar. I, I literally always test these usually before I, I you know, install them. And, and, and I found zombies right away in that seed. Like, right away. Right in the daytime, it was definitely proof that it was a zombie apocalypse mod. However, this is a good vanilla seed. It's probably changed, though, by the way. 1.17's changed a lot of the seeds. This is 1.12, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I feel like I'm just wasting some time. I, I want to find some zombies. Hold on. So that took longer than I expected, but here we do have some zombies, and I believe what's really cool is if we do time set day, uh, they won't catch on fire. They will keep coming after you. Um, I think one of the reasons I was having trouble finding zombies is I wasn't in survival. That's uh, kind of a, a big deal there. But uh, no denying there are zombies. They are alive in the daytime. It's a zombie apocalypse. This is uh, very quickly getting overwhelming and very crazy. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the Mustard Virus mod pack. And I will see you on Breakdown Craft. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Be specific, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I am out. Peace.